Hello, I'm Dr. Enrico Asher, a vascular surgeon. This is a Society for Vascular Surgery briefing on how vascular surgery differs from other specialists. Some people believe that vascular surgeons are vein specialists. Others think that vascular surgeons only do open surgery. Although we can effectively eliminate those unsightly veins and we can deliver excellent results with open vascular procedures, the scope of a modern vascular surgery practice has evolved significantly over the last 15 years. Indeed, open vascular operations account for a small portion of our practice. The name vascular surgery is somewhat misleading because it does not reflect the entire scope of our specialty. Some contemporary vascular surgeons like to be known as vascular specialists to help clear some of the confusion. The modern vascular surgeon or specialist now covers not only the entire spectrum of vascular diseases but also the entire spectrum of treatment modalities. These include medical management, catheter-based procedures such as angioplasties and stents, and open surgical operations. Contrary to all other specialties that may occasionally address peripheral vessels, vascular surgery offers some unique features. For example, vascular surgeons are the only specialists that are qualified to render all types of safe and effective treatment modalities for vascular diseases. In other words, Vascular surgeons can select the best option of treatment for their patients without the inherent bias that may be associated with other practitioners whose armamentarium is confined to one or two specific type of treatment. Vascular surgeons are a highly qualified group of physicians who dedicate 100% of their professional careers to the prevention, diagnosis and treatment of vascular disorders. Except for the heart and the small vessels in the brain, we are responsible for the health of practically all vessels in the human body. To carry out this responsibility, we go through a rigorous and lengthy training program that ranges from five to seven years after medical school. Vascular surgery trainees learn to focus on the patient as a whole and not only on the diseased arteries or veins. They are taught the natural history of vascular disease processes so that they can recognize not only when to intervene but also when not to intervene. Moreover, the vascular fellows are taught how to choose the best option of treatment and tailor it to the patient rather than trying to fit all patients into one treatment modality. It is of interest to know that vascular surgery is the only specialty dealing with peripheral vessels that requires a written and an oral examination for board certification. Because our primary commitment is to optimal vascular care, we have pioneered non-invasive vascular testings. We have developed minimally invasive alternatives to treat aortic aneurysms and many other significant technical innovations to minimize the magnitude of the procedures. Additionally, the Society for Vascular Surgery has developed clinical practice guidelines for standard of care. Accordingly, Vascular surgeons are the most suitable specialists to partner with family physicians and other specialists in the care of the vascular patient. This combined approach offers patients the best overall comprehensive care. If your patient has arterial occlusive or aneurysmal disease, carotid artery pathology, and or venous or lymphatic disorders, you should seek a vascular surgeon's consultation. We are well trained to offer most qualified care possible. This briefing is made possible by a grant from Cook Medical. To learn more about vascular health and careers, please visit vascularweb.org.